Hello, this is Stephen Stamps with Stamps Tarantulas. I'm going to do an update on the tour of tarantulas because I've gotten a lot of new adults for breeding. First of all, these uh, have two dubia colonies here. And then I also keep super worms and, of course, crickets. Uh, first one uh, is a platyama, Pamphlobedius platyama, uh, pink bloom. Uh, it's about three inch. I got it as a as a freebie from a, from a breeder, and it's blocked off the hide, probably about to molt. Uh, Brachypelma bomai, right here. I'm pretty sure it's a female. Heavy duty pre molt. Okay, we've got a Brachypelma out. Alba pelosum, uh, Honduran curly hair. This is, I confirmed this one as a male. I'm looking for a female. He's not ready, but uh, this is a Brachypelma oratum or a Mexican flame knee. Pretty sure this is a male. And if you can see in there, he's got the premolt butt syndrome. This is a B albiceps, just confirmed as. A fe mature female. She's beautiful, but she's kind of, she's kind of hiding in there. She was molted about a week and a half ago, and she hasn't been out a whole lot. Pecanserides, uh, Haitian brown bird eater. Eh, he's tucked away in there. All right. Let me get my. Light. Okay, I have three P. Metallicas. This is the biggest here. Uh, looks like pre molt time for that one also. I have another one here. Not sure on the sex. I think the bigger one is male. And this one just molted uh, two times in the last month. I'm almost positive. It's a female, but she ate the abdomen on the molt, so. I have uh, three spiderlings last juvenile Havoc purpureas. Two of them have molted since I've had them. Uh, one of them has not molted. There's the holdout right there. And this one right here has molted about the same time the other one did. Havoc, Havoc pink tone. That's my finger. Nice view of my finger right there in the middle of the video. I have, I'll show you in a minute, I have a 7 inch female Borneo black and it's almost impossible to find mature males. So I have four uh, spiderlings switching over to juveniles. They've molted twice since I've had them. Uh, P. Armenia, P. Armenia, Venezuelan sun tigers. I have seven of them. This one is burrowed down. This is an adult female right here and she I've got a couple of crickets in there and the reason why is there's her boyfriend right up let's see if we can see him right up there he just molted two weeks ago and he's made his first sperm web which is right there there's a sperm web so I'm waiting <clears throat> for her to eat so she doesn't eat him Although in this, I'm going to be shark tanking her enclosure inside of his. So I think there's enough room in there and areas for them to stay away from each other if they need to. I don't think there's going to be an issue with him getting eaten. Another sub-adult, P. Armenia. There's another smaller one back there somewhere. And then there's a little spiderling. Let's see if I can see it. Right there. And this is uh, another sub adult Pyramenia hunkered down in there. This is a six inch Remistola Pultra. She is mature and ready to breed. I just do not have a mature male right now. I have a couple of breeders that are using theirs right now, and hopefully, I'll get a boyfriend for her soon. This is the exact same thing, just a little bit smaller. I'm probably going to let her molt again. 
and before I give her a try at uh, breeding. Okay, I've recently acquired a few B. Aratums. Mexican Flame Knee, they're real difficult to get a hold of, especially to get the opportune time to have a mature male with mature females. And I'll show you why. Here's a female. Here is another female. You can see they're both in pre-molt. I have a mature male, but these, these two ladies are not ready. I have another female here, but I think she is in pre-molt also. She's not eating. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see the cricket right there. Not eating. Okay, this is an LP. This is my daughter's rose hair, Marceline. That's one that started it all. She gets the privilege of having a really cool chair that she ne never uses, but it looks really cool. And she's right there. Here is the mature male Biorotum. He's hooked out, ready to go. He's fresh. I'm probably about to send him off to a breeder to pair with his five females. Okay, this is a male Brazilian black or Gramistola Pultra. Um, hopefully he'll be ready someday. He's in pre-molt right now, which is nice. Be getting bigger. I have uh, two P uh, Negra colors. I have a male and a female. This right here is the male. He's pin ultimate. And he, uh, as soon as he molts, he will be ready to mate with the female that I already had, that I already have, I'll show you in a minute. She molted mature already, and as soon as he's ready, she will be. This is a Janiculata, 5 inch female pre molt. She should molt any day. This is her boyfriend here. He's a cute little guy. He loves when I um, rehoused him. He loves that little water dish so much. I went ahead and brought it in because he hangs out and he sits on top of it a lot. So I wanted him to have something familiar. Here's my veiled chameleon. Woke up when I did and decided it was too early. He went back to sleep. He doesn't have a job, you know. He's lazy. Okay, this is a. I have several pokies. This is the enclosure for the P. Uh, Peter, Peter Sinney, uh, but uh, she is in that cork tube. She just molted about a month ago. She's about five and a half inches long. This is the seven inch female Borneo Black, Lampropelma species Borneo Black. She is incredibly large. Had her for about a month. I don't know if she's just hunkering down for winter. Uh, she's eating two dubias in the last week so she's eating at least this is classic of a Havoc, this is an Havoc purpurea subadult okay I have uh, three B Smith eyes this is a sexed female and she's a good eater and I have another female here as a monstrous eater I've never seen one eat so much Anytime she's out like that, she's she's good to eat. Um, and this is a sexed male. He uh, is in pre-molt. I have to wait till they all of them get mature. This is an Incrematus female that I paired up a couple months ago, and I, I'm totally on the fence with her. I don't know if she's about to molt out of the the mating or lay a sack. It's kind of seems to me like past the time that she should lay the sack, but. You never know, they kind of have their own agenda. This is the beautiful Luna. This is my mature P. nigra color, or Pamphlobedius uh, species nigra color, blue bloom. She's beautiful, and she is really fast. For a large, for a good sized tarantula, she can move really fast. I just put my <clears throat> spiderlings away because I'm actually going to be using the dining room table tonight for actually eating, which is weird. But I have um, 20 Brachypelma aratums, Mexican flame knees, in the larger vials. I have some, um, let's say I have uh, 
just various others, you know, uh, Rose Hair, Chaco LP, some uh, uh, PZBs, Pink Zebra Beauty, or and uh, so anyway, that's all the babies there. I'll give you a shot here of this T wall. And then here are the juveniles, and then more juveniles. There's the table I'm actually using tonight. All right, uh, on with the pokies. I have uh, a pokey. This is a Subfusca Highland. And, uh, okay. She just molted. She's about five inches, but she's back. That She made that her hide back behind there. She has a really cool enclosure. And last but not least is the big Charlotte. She's probably six, six and a half inch. Uh, P. Fasciata. Turn on light and see if we can get a look at her. No, she's way down in the cork tube. Probably no, I'm not going to be able to see her. She's big. Uh, since winter has set in, she really hasn't been out much. She comes out at night, eats, and then decorates her walls with poo, and then goes back in. In the summer, she was out at night and early morning. All, all over the enclosure, but I think she's kind of hunkering down. Anyway, that's what I got. I'll keep everybody posted on my breeding projects, and thank you very much for watching.